This is a quick video to mainly clear up some confusion about Bloom in Blender 4.2. Lots of people are saying now that we've had it removed from the render tab, it's no longer real time because what you have to do is you have to go across to the compositing and set it up here. So I want to quickly show you how you can get what you see here in your viewport in real time. So I'll jump back to layout mode, quickly set up a scene. So add in a plane for the floor, scale that up a bit, maybe add in a monkey and put that next to it and then move the camera into position so it can see both my objects. Okay, so there's a basic scene. Let's go to shading, give these objects some different colors. And this one I'll give an emission so we can see the bloom. Just give it a nice pink emission. Okay, not looking great at the moment. Let's go to render preview, looking a tiny bit better, but not much. Let's go across to rendered and turn on things like the ray trace or oh, delightful. But like I say, there's no option for bloom. So we go across to the compositing, we need to use nodes, we need to make sure we've rendered our scene, so F12 to render. That's what my scene looks like through the camera. I'll close this down and with the Node Wrangler installed, so that's Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, type in Node, and there's the Node Wrangler, make sure that's ticked. I can now press Control Shift left click on my render layers to get the viewer node. So now I can see the background just there. I'll shift, right click and drag to create one of these reroute nodes. Move that across slightly, Shift A to add, filter, and we've got the glare just there. I'll add that in. Now, if you see my last video, I prefer the fog glow to the bloom. So I'm going to use the fog glow and it's looking quite nice there. But let's go back to my viewport. Let's say in layout mode, go to rendered mode. We can't see it here. However, in the drop down just here, which are the viewport shading options, you can see the compositor there is disabled. If I turn it to camera, I'm looking through the camera, so I'll see the results. I can also turn it on to always. So when I jump out of my camera, I can see the results there too. So it's under this drop down, under compositor, just turn it on to always, and you'll get to see the results of your compositing just here, which in this case is the glare node. Now, because we're using the compositor for this, that means it will work in cycles as well as Eevee. So that's a quick run through of how to set that up. Hopefully that clears up some confusion. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.